I think you were coming. Didn't sound all that urgent. You should see what they've done. It's not illegal. Council has approved the road to be built. I, I heard that the owners were appealing against the road. I wouldn't know. Nobody's ever seen the owners. Well, I want to complain about the noise then. Come on. Local citizens are concerned that the new road will begin the destruction of the city's last great stand of virgin forest. Little do they know the secrets that will be unlocked. I don't know. How'd you get up here? I drove the dozer here. Two o'clock this morning? Well, where is it? What? The dozer. Oh, I don't know. How could you lose a 40-ton dozer? Well, maybe he had a fall or something. I don't know. There's only uh, one set of tracks here. It kind of disappeared. Jenny! of the huge creature and fears for the safety of the lost child bring the Yuma team to the search headquarters on the edge of the forest. Ask Mrs. Simpson if she'd like to join us at the operation center. Have Jack and Jean stand by to do a sweep of the area. Sir Grant, about time. I understand you're the... Uh, Monster specialist. I do dabble in them from time to time. And you've met your match this time. We haven't been able to get anywhere near that thing out there. An HQ of tighter hands. Then I suggest you remove your men and let us get on with the job. What? I've got the army standing by. First thing we'll do is to find Jenny Simpson. Yeah, well, you'll never do that unless you get that thing out of there. How, how can you keep arguing? I mean, my little girl is lost out there with that thing. I do have priority. Inspector. Yeah, we'll have to see about that. And if that thing gets out of there, I'll hold you responsible. We'll let our results speak for themselves. We love you. In position, Arthur. Yes, baby, baby. Arthur. Ah. Do you read me, Arthur? Proceed with the scan, then drop your audio remotes. Prepare to drone camera for release. Proceeding. Ready? Ready. Audrey, will you have Mrs. Simpson come down here? Arthur, are you getting this? Coming through nicely now, Jean. Charles. Uh. 
What's that? I don't know. Whatever it is, it seems to know we're looking at it. Are you all right? There was a big one. Do we bait up again? Negative. Drop the audio remotes and return to base. We'll have to send in ground teams. About time. You've seen him, Mr. Grant, and you can't send in ground teams without a heavy artillery. You can't bring cannon shells around while that girl is still in there. Be realistic. She'd be lucky to survive this long, even under ordinary conditions. Children can surprise us, Inspector. They have strong survival instincts, sometimes even a better understanding of nature. Stop talking nonsense, and you're not doing your duty, which is to dispatch that beast. Run that again, Charles. Stop! Right there. Zoom. Uh... She is alive. I, I knew it. Well, as I said, uh, you've got 48 hours. 47 and a half. I admire your courage, madam. With new hope but little time, Lloyd Wilder and Kim Xiaomin begin their push into the unexplored wilderness. Well, the point of no return. It looks peaceful enough. Except that there's something in there that eats earth moving equipment. And an eight year old girl who's probably starving. What have you discovered, Charles? Not much. It was parceled out 200 years ago. There are no roads, no access. The sanctuary. The land, the time forgot. I, I've never been there myself. Never? It's just nice to know it's there, where it's meant to be. That's far. That's the way she's going. She's not alone. Jenny! Jenny! Uh-oh. It looks like we're about to engage with this thing, Arthur. Negative. Fall back. Our first priority is to find the girl. I don't want you endangering yourselves. Get out of there. We'll see what coming down. Are you mad, Grant, throwing away a chance like that? Let's get a look at this first. Get a lot of this, Arthur. Yes, yes. Get out of sight. Charles. Wow. Well, that's fascinating. Yeah, it's definitely not Saurian. It's, it's all mammalian. My guess? A precursor to Procoptodon. In English? No. Um, the giant kangaroo. Uh, if we can get a sample? Come and get it yourself, Charlie. It's as if it knows we're here. It's looking for us. some kind of hypnotic effect on the nervous system. <coughs> Where's that monster? <coughs> Doesn't let it stop you. <coughs> <coughs> oh. <coughs> Am I dreaming? <sighs> Tell me both are. Him, Lloyd? What's happened? We've lost the picture. <coughs> Lost contact. That does it. You've lost your ground team. Let's not get too excited. 
Well, I'm going to make some noise at head office. This has gone far enough. I haven't lost any yet, and I don't intend to. I don't like this. We need weapons. That thing packs too much weight for hand to hand. I'm taking care of it. Leave those things alone! That creature was repelled by these paws. I collected some. We encased them in clay, let it dry. Mushroom bombs. It may be low tech, but it might just work. After all, it's only an animal. Let's just find the girl and get out of here. Breakfast? Um, still no contact with Kim and Lloyd. Well, at least we haven't got sight breathing down our necks yet. Jack and Jean should be making their last positions soon. Hey, it looks like they've been through here. What about Jenny? I don't know. I'm afraid we've lost the trail. There's a lot of ground to cover. We're lucky if we don't get lost ourselves. It wasn't Ginny. I didn't think we were alone. But I'm supposed to have until tomorrow morning. Yes, I understand. Well, I'm lodging an official complaint about this. It seems you have friends in high places, Inspector. You've got to have in this business if you want to get the job done. They've given us two hours to withdraw our team before they begin raising the forest to the ground. But we've lost contact. You can still bring in your other team. Let's face it, it's too big for you to handle. Do you think you win any medals for this, Sykes? We'll just have to intensify our efforts. What are you going to tell Mrs. Simpson? something special about this place. Can you feel it? What is this? It looks like our fang friend's a bit of a hoarder. I don't like this. I feel like we're being watched. Jack, it's Jenny's. It doesn't look good. You're wasting your time. Got any better ideas? Hand me that mushroom bomb.
a nice trick. Those spores will only hold it for a while. You can smell metal. It won't leave while there's any around. I've only got two mushroom bombs left. Let's hope this is enough. This is going to be touch and go. This is Yuma Base. Can you hear me? Over. Three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Genie. Hammer, Anybody? Three, four, over. over. One, two, three, four, we five, five. Any Hammer one, prepare for launching. You're cool, Grant. I'll give you that. You've just lost two search teams and you still won't give up this wild goose chase. Not until hell freezes over, Inspector. Your time's up. In another few hours, there won't be a blade of grass left for that thing to hide under. My men are moving into position now. And I won't come out until I get some results. Last resorts are never a solution. Would you like a lift, Inspector? You, you, you can't just burn it. I've been left with no alternative. Bon voyage, Inspector. <laughs> Let's take Jenny home to Mum. Yes, please. Still here. How did it find us? Metal. Sorry, guys. Now what? Better approach of the forest now, Inspector. Sure looks beautiful, doesn't it? Maybe, son. But it's land going to waste, and in the long run, nobody will miss it. You people did your best. You've never seen our best, Inspector. It's getting restless. We'll be digging us out soon. I'm putting you guys in danger. Maybe I can get it to follow me. Jenny's our first priority. Monsters we can deal with. Yeah. You better take this. You were taking me to the command post. Oh, I thought you were a frontline man, Inspector. Oh. Oh, did you like that maneuver, Inspector? M4, you have a search and rescue pickup. Hammer 2, arm your Exmo lasers and maintain a defensive perimeter around the search area. We won't give up quite yet.
Because of Earth's polluted atmosphere, Ultraman can only retain his gigantic form for three minutes. Time is running out. He's beaten. Never underestimate Ultraman. is returned to its underground lair. When the wilderness regrows and removes the scars of human progress, the Guardian will emerge once more to roam its green domain in peace. Come to Super Save, you didn't finish him off, eh? Maybe Ultraman knows something that we don't. Yeah. You want to reckon it's still a waste of good cropping land? You can't see the wood for the trees. It'll be all right, will it? Of course it will. It'll be out in no time. By the time it gets out, the forest will have grown back. What about the people? I didn't see any people. How about you guys? No. no? <laughs> She's here. 